dreams or unfulfilled dreams is because of this wonderful story. Have you ever wanted to try on a wedding dress, but for whatever reason, haven't had the chance and always thought you would? You may balk at the idea or maybe it's something you really want to do. Mandy Abramson, that's the name you need. She runs a bridal shop in Skipton in North Yorkshire. And for two years now, she's run a special week at least once a year where she invites women from all walks of life to try on a wedding dress, even if they have no plans to marry or feel they never will, which are slightly two different things and and fraught with emotion, as you can imagine. Mandy, good morning. Good morning. I saw a video uh, with some of my colleagues at the BBC, with some of the women doing this, and it, it's a really extraordinary thing, even though it sounds quite simple, isn't it? Yeah, it started off as a really simple idea and it's really taken off. It's been quite popular the last two years and it's such a lot of fun, as I'm sure you saw in the video of that. Um, There's a lot of laughter, there's a lot of hugs, there's a lot of emotion and it's really freeing almost for women. They find it great. There there was one particular woman who um, had been diagnosed with cancer and she'd been engaged twice but she hadn't been married and she sort of broke down as she said, you know, this was my chance, this is my wedding day, because she'd always wanted to, to have that moment. Yeah, this is Molly, who is actually the main inspiration for this. Um, we have a mutual friend, and our mutual friend approached me about two years ago and said she has this lady she knows who is sadly terminally ill. She doesn't know how long she's got left, and obviously she's ticking things off a bucket list, and one of the main things she wanted to do was try on wedding dresses. Now, Molly, as you can see, is still thankfully with us, so she was able to come down and film this video with us, um, but she's um, she's ticking lots of things off. She's raising lots of funds for cancer research through through the journey as she's doing different things but at the end of the day it was all about it gave us the inspiration we she gave us a lot of photographs to share we put them on social media and obviously initially there were a few emotions we were a little bit tearful at the beginning of the appointment but after that it was just the sheer enjoyment and the joy bursting out of her in these photographs and molly very kindly let us have them to put on social media and we put this little post on, very simple, saying, oh, it's, um, you know, we just helped somebody out with the bucket list. It was a great morning. We had lots of fun. And the, it went absolutely viral. It got seen by over 200,000 people. Now, for a small independent shop, that is phenomenal to get that sort of reach. You just don't get that. What? And it was just great. And we had lots of comments underneath it. They were very, very positive And everything was so, you look beautiful, you look fabulous, you look great. But we were seeing lots of little comments sneaking through. Oh, I'd love to do that. I've never had a wedding dress on. I've been married twice I've never worn a wedding dress and it gave me the inspiration to offer this every time I get a quiet spot which is usually once or twice a year. What do you think it is about a wedding dress? For some this this is not their ideal afternoon or morning but for, for others they may not have even thought about this but but in the back of their mind they may think it would be amazing to put one on or it would certainly make them feel something different. It's the little girl factor. I mean, most of us played with dolls as children. And this basically is a grown up version of playing dollies is my job. You know, I get to dress people up in pretty dresses all the time. But if you are if you were a child who played with a doll, the dress that you always aspired to put your doll in was the wedding dress. And it's just got this almost mythical quality about how special it is. And we do get girls who've never had one on before. They put it on and they can come in, they can be quite self-conscious, the shoulders are down, they're a little bit embarrassed. They put it on, they turn and they look at themselves in the mirror and all of a sudden the shoulders go up, they get a big smile on the face and they go, oh, oh, actually, you know, and it, it really is that difference it makes. It is a very strange thing, but I do see it all the time. I mean, as I say, some some will not have played with dolls. Some will put their dolls, like I did, in some kind of weird... I think I was given some kind of weird power suit in a Paris Barbie, other dolls available thing. Um, but but it, there is a thing that I can see in this video of people feeling quite transformed. And you must see that regularly, you know, even not on these special weeks that you run. You know, people put this dress on and something happens. Yeah, I'm really lucky. I'm celebrating 25 years in business next year. Uh, next spring in March actually we'll be doing some celebratory things and I've seen this all the time and we do get girls come in who are not girly girls they find it uncomfortable to think about wearing dresses obviously they're getting married and the thing is that people expect them to wear one and it's just really 
I don't know. It, it's almost like and and lifting. You know, they sort of put this dress on, and all of a sudden they have this little moment of freedom. Look at me. I'm actually really gorgeous, and I do look like a woman. And this is where it generally comes from. And it is just a really satisfying job to do and see and i've seen so many girls over the years who have just lit up the minute they've put one on and it's just the best job in the world you know i'm going to say something quite counterintuitive at this point but i've not thought about it since i think if i did it again i got married I think about 10 years ago now i'm not sure i would wear a wedding dress though i mean it was really good fun trying on oh, i couldn't walk it was so heavy and <laughs> i wish i'd practiced okay let's let's at least go to that point and it is magical to have a special uh, dress a special outfit to really think about something and you know my husband I think he had a tailored suit you know that was his first experience of that um, but it, it's a funny thing I wonder do you always get do you also get people coming to these weeks who didn't like what they wore the first time around and wish they'd done it differently all the time we see that all the time <laughs> I, I we do also get a lot of girls who who just come because it's fun but we also get girls who come in who are perhaps have been through a difficult time in their life and they're just now starting to find the feet and it's just a little boost of confidence it gives them a little bit of confidence back and it's just brilliant we share all the pictures on our social media pages and the comments are just incredible but what really strikes me as well is that there are very, very few comments that say, that's a lovely dress. They always say, you look beautiful. And that is exactly what it is. It's nothing to do with the dress. It's how your face lights up when you've got it on. Mandy, it is lovely to talk to you. I think you will have brought a smile to everybody's face this morning on a Monday morning. Just a final quick question. Um, as someone who has a dress full, a shop full of wedding dresses, do you try them on regularly when everybody's gone home? Well, I have to test them and check the sense of custom dues. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dangerous, of course, but I'm prepared to take that risk. <laughs> if I came in at eight o'clock on a random evening, would you just be sat there with a beer in your hand in a wedding dress? Well, I don't drink, but I might have a donut or something. Okay, but, yeah, donut. We'll go way. there. I just, I just had that mental image. Uh, Mandy Abramson, <laughs> thank you so much. The bridal shops in Skipton in North Yorkshire. And it's